Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And of course, uh, one of the things that uh, is fun to do is sometimes, you know, I talked about it in the past, stay on the frequency and leave maybe the coding software on or, um, you know, just see what happens if it's intermittent communications. So today I did that. I actually was on 27700, which is a well-known out-of-band CB um, uh, SSTV or slow scan TV uh, frequency. And I did receive a few pictures. Uh, there's this guy, 2FLA uh, 2688, that actually has been sending out uh, regularly throughout the afternoon. I've heard him uh, probably got that picture a dozen times today. So I guess he's calling and seeing if anybody's out there. Um, there was also a, um, if I look here and any other pictures, um, go to the history here. In the history, uh, once again, from the same guy, he seems to be in Florida. I had this other picture here, which is uh, kind of interesting when you look at it. See if I can put it a little closer here. There we go. Maybe not the best uh, rendering, but uh, some nice, some nice pictures being received uh, definitely uh, for uh, for this frequency. So I've heard only him. Sometimes you can hear a lot. I've seen some guys that uh, tune twenty seven seven hundred leave it a full day and have dozens of pictures sometimes from different stations even from europe so i guess you know leave it there and and just leave your software ready to the code and uh, who knows what's going to happen uh, it's always uh, a lot of fun uh, the higher frequencies have been really good um, we've been having some great propagation um, on high frequencies when uh, the sun isn't too Flary, because that's the biggest problem when the solar flare happens. Sometimes we'll have a a um, kind of a radio blackout for a certain amount of time. It'll last maybe um, you know an hour, uh, but then things come back to normal. Uh, we haven't had really much of any geomagnetic storming going on, so that's good. It's been helping us uh, getting a lot of good propagation, basically. So you know, tune around and have fun. Uh, uh, do look at frequencies above 20 megahertz. There's a lot more than what people think there. Uh, one of the biggest problems, it has a bad reputation because one of the things of the higher frequencies, like above 20, is in the times of lower solar activity, often the maximum usable frequency was unreaching. And it didn't, um, you know, it, there was really, it was quiet. But now with high solar activity, uh, there's a lot of things that pop up at 21, 22, 23, 24 megahertz. Here's another picture being sent out. So this seems to be the same uh, Florida guy again, sending out some slow scan television. And... Um, so do check out above 20 megahertz. It's very surprising what you can hear. And um, there's the marine stuff. There's some aeronautical stuff. There's unusual stuff. There's a lot of Russian Chinese, uh, Chinese Russian channel markers that are single letter, um, single letter CW um, being sent out or Morse code that are in the 22, 23 megahertz range. So uh, I think it's worth checking out. Uh, you'll never, never, um, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, it, it's really, really one of those. That's the great thing about shortwave. Uh, the unusual signals you might actually pop up out of nowhere. So do tune around and have fun. I think it's uh, the best way to do it. So once again, a CQ SSTV on 27700 from 2FLA2688. Signal came better towards the end. So it's kind of cool to uh, to play around with all of this. So do tune around and tune around the higher frequencies. Um, I think you're going to have a lot of fun uh, doing so. And uh, check out what's out there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys.